I'm Sergeant Emmanuel Chesty. I'm from Haiti, Port-au-Prince. Currently, I am uh, the RTR Calary Sergeant. Um, growing in Haiti, growing up in Haiti was obviously it's different than the life in, in the U.S. It was really, really hard growing up in Haiti. Um, I came in the U.S. in 2010, um, actually in May 2010, right after the earthquake. The earthquake, the most powerful to hit Haiti in a century, devastated the country Tuesday. I was 15 years old, and the journey was kind of hard because after the earthquake, uh, everything was kind of destroyed. Um, so we had to walk two days to go to the airport the day we were flying. So that's kind of what we've been through. The reason why I wanted to join the Marine was because after the earthquake, um, they send uh, Marines to come down there and Haiti to help out. President Barack Obama announced Thursday that helping Haiti is a top priority for U.S. government agencies. We're also deploying a Marine Expeditionary Unit, the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson, and the Navy's hospital ship, the Comfort. Marines from the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit will join the humanitarian effort. President Obama said America will stand by Haiti's people in their hour of need. And the first time I saw a Marine, I'll never forget him, was Corporal um, Hernandez. And I instantly fell in love with the Marine Corps. And I was like, oh, I just want to be one like them. I didn't know that I could get my citizenship in, in the Marine Corps. I just wanted to be a Marine. Uh, while I was in boot camp, um, that's when they start questioning me. They, they, they give me my citizenship. They, hold, they did a whole ceremony in, in Paris Island. Um, I get my citizenship in Paris Island. The fact that I'm Haitian and I become a U.S. citizen and now I'm the one really representing the flag of the United States, I think that deep down that's something that makes a lot of impact.